And because I think that almost nobody gets how valuable fossil fuels are. I mean, in a sense, it's how valuable cost-effective energy is. But as we're discussing, nothing is close to fossil fuels. So today, cost-effective energy basically means fossil fuels. Without fossil fuels, we wouldn't have cost-effective energy. And in fact, every single form of energy we use today depends hugely on fossil fuels, including nuclear in various ways, certainly solar and wind, et cetera. So I think the, way, the best way to think of it is to recognize how bad life is without energy in general, and then fossil fuels in particular. And I mentioned that we're taught this delicate nurturer view of Earth, where Earth is just, it exists in this delicate nurturing balance, and so it's gonna be stable, sufficient, and safe. And what we have to worry about is disrupting it with our impact. If, as, long as, as long as we don't disrupt it, it's gonna be pretty nice to us. Now this is, this is such a widespread view, but it is absolutely insane, because we have all of history to show us that this is not remotely true. So Earth is actually a wild potential. So it's actually dynamic, deficient, and dangerous. This is how life actually works. And so the question is, how do you have a world of abundance in a, in a world of wild potential? And the main answer is productive ability. We have to have the ability to produce new value. One is we have to overcome the natural deficiency of nature. We have to be able to bring new value into the world. And we have to be able to overcome the natural danger of nature. We have to be able to produce value that neutralize and defend ourselves against all the threats. Even something like fence making is like a huge achievement that people couldn't do in the past. And that, so we need to be productive to overcome our naturally deficient and dangerous planet. But then we run into the problem of we are weak. Like we are physically weak. No matter how strong you are. What's that? Exactly. Yeah, you'll see you, you spoiled it. But yeah, no. <laughs> we, need, we need machines. Exactly. So man, as long as we live a manual labor life on a naturally deficient and dangerous planet, life will be terrible for the average person.